Do not overtrain. It's real easy to go on a workout break and then you come back like you've just still been doing it this whole time and your body will let you know you ain't where you was before you stopped. And nothing's wrong with that. I mean, I love a personal progressive overload over time, but not to the point or to the detriment of my motivation, enthusiasm, and desire to stay in the gym and make progress. One of the biggest things that I do with my clients is to make sure that if I see them getting a little bit fatigued or push a little bit too far throughout the week in their workouts with me, we tone it back. Some days just need to be recovery. Some days just need to be maintenance. Some days just need to be an off day. So step one, soak in the tub, Epsom salt get that step number two stay hydrated not just with water with a whole bunch of melon juice cantaloupe watermelon you name it as long as it's a melon cold press fruit juice drink that up it's going to help you out tremendously next is pliability stretch we do not stretch enough as americans please for the life of god stretch every day and just make sure you're eating well you know you don't want to put things in your body that causes even more inflammation so your body's already going through the stress of being in the gym you haven't been there in a while aches and pains blah 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 make sure that you're eating appropriately to your living not your diet but to your living because you must live that you must eat to live and not live to eat but other than that jesus king i love you and i hope this helped you out